Music is a gift that I have. It's a gift that I'm responsible to give and that I love to give, but the reward is far more than the gift. When I see that audience filled with joy and standing and applauding and singing the words to my songs, and you know, that's a treat and it's a gift and I'll never underestimate or undervalue that gift. Um, a few months ago, I, I, had a, I had a feeling, maybe for the first time since he died, I wrote this song for my dad. It's called My Old Man. We played cribbage on Sundays. Yeah, them were the fun days at the beach. With macaroni in our sand. We'd watch gun smoke and Matt Dillon and the Cuban assassin get beat up by Macho Man. Just last night I cried. For oh, the very first time since he went away I don't know why, but I thought when he died I'd see him again someday He'd laugh and have fun and I'd drink all his rum And he'd tell me I'd become quite a man I love him, I miss him I long to be with you, my old man. Yes, I love you, I miss you. I long to be with you, my old man. I'm a resident here in, in Pictou County, Nova Scotia, at the, at the ocean in Marshville on my farm. I'm a, a goat farm, I'm a cashmere goat farmer, and we have a few cattle and uh, 85 goats and, and a wonderful wife and 13-year-old daughter. And we, uh, we have a little store here that folks come by and we get to meet new people every day and uh, lots of uh, lots to write, write songs about here, so. Some roosters. <laughs> He's an ugly man. Scary, big hair, black rim glasses, and he'd stand in the window and he'd look out the window and we were terrified of him. So we'd always run by his house. One winter we were bored and he wasn't home. So we uh, thought well, maybe we should go in there and we were just trying to conquer our fear. But uh, we still broke in. So we thought my one friend was mechanically inclined. and He said, I could take the hinges off that door. We could, we could open it backwards. We said, okay, it took us 45 minutes to get the hinges out. We then, we got in, and we discovered it only had this little hook on it. All we had to do was pull on it, we'd have been in. So of course, the next morning, six o'clock, come and the lights are on in Murray's house. So the community got together and they discovered somebody broke into his house. So we were, uh, we were in awful shape. <laughs> Scared to death. The phone rang and it was my friend from down the road. He never called me before in his life, but. He called that day and he said, he said, somebody broke into Murray Vino's house down there, he said. I said, oh, you God, you're telling me. I said, who would do a thing like that? Well, Mom and Dad were sitting right there. I went out into the kitchen and Mom followed me out. She said, it was you, wasn't it? <laughs> we were down there chasing cats, that's a story we would tell. Mama said with a roar, it was you who took the hinges out of Murray's kitchen door. Who took the hinges out of Murray's kitchen door? Was it Todd and Alan Crystal? I'm just not sure now who it was. No one really knows for sure, and I'm not telling anymore. I really took the hinges out of Murray's kitchen door. I'd like to say what separates me from maybe other artists. I see a loss of connection with the audience. It needs to be honest and it needs to be sincere and that's an example of who I am. I like the grass between my toes And I like Christmas when it snows And I like dancing in the same
My mom once told me, she says, if you make it on breakfast television, I'll know you will have made it. <laughs> the gentle old soul came into our lives and pulled us up out of the mud and gave our family a hero. Proved love could be thicker than blood. I got a temperature of 102 My mouth tastes like a dirty shoe I think I got the Taiwan flu But I'm never too sick for bingo Never too sick for bingo When that special kind of lingo When I'm sitting for different places Smiling at all them anxious faces My doctor's playing down the hall And if I need her I can call Sure could use a little Tylenol, but I'm never too sick for bingo. So there's some words in one of the songs that I've written called, called "Cowboy Hat," and it sort of sums up, uh, sort of sums up my sh my shows and and uh, and who I am, it's, it's, and how my music is uh, such a great part of my life, and how my audience is also involved in that. And it says, "I will play for you." For all for me you do, and I will help you smile and sit and rest for a while. And if you'll clap for me, I'll play till my fingers bleed. It's just a cowboy hat. There's nothing greater than that. It's just a cowboy hat. So that's uh, that's who I am. <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless you all. Rent when it comes to